Okay, so I've got it all ground out. Now I'm going to do some edge to edge flaking. Um, you have to brace the, the, the back side of the um, preform to be able to push successfully to push the, um, the flakes all the way across. Greg Nunn, who, is, um, who specializes in edge to edge flaking, uses, and I believe he learned this technique from Eric Callahan, but he uses um, a wrap like this, but around just the end of his index finger. He uses it as an anvil on the back of the piece. My hand doesn't really cooperate when I try to do that, so what I do is just make sure that the, uh, the pad is sort of wrapped around the piece like that, and then I push down into the palm of my hand. And I'm using a pretty sharp pressure flaker. I'll just take off a couple of flakes to get started. And then push some flakes off. Now, whenever I'm doing this, just like any time that you're pressure flaking, you want to make sure that you bring the, the tip of the flaker far enough up the platform from the previous flake so that you don't just take out this little corner of material. You want to come up here so that the um, flake will follow the ridge left behind from the previous flake. And you do have to load up a good bit of pressure. And what i found is that it's better if you sort of just um, take your pressure flaker and push into the material and load up on that until the flake just sort of lets go, gives up, and comes off. Because if you try to uh, twist or, or push up to get the flake to detach, a lot of times you'll break the piece because you're loading up so much pressure on it. So my flakes are getting kind of wampus here. You can see they bow out like this and then come back. Um, I may end up leaving just a little bit of material behind. Um, but whenever I grind my edges to come back and do my edging, um, that'll kind of just disappear. Let's see, I stopped short there. I've also got a problem to deal with here in that there was an ash pit at a really inconvenient spot on this um, on this piece so I'm just going to kind of work around it by taking that off and then going just to the other side of it <sighs> oh and that's a nasty see it's got a crack had a nasty uh, longer pit than I thought it goes really all the way back up to here but I'm just going to keep going and uh, when I edge a lot of it will probably go away. Got a visitor. And so I lost my run just a little bit right through here and then, and then at the end of the run here I've gotten it back edge to edge. This is almost edge to edge though, so I'm really not worried about it because again, whenever I grind this to, um, to actually go around and, and sharpen the piece, that's all going to disappear. So I'm going to turn the corner, do this side, and then grind it to edge, and I'll come back and show you how I edge it out.